After nine years after it was first announced, Halo, the record-breaking TV series produced by Steven Spielberg based on the iconic video game, is out now. We'll be revealing exclusive news and uncover hidden details you might have missed. So get comfortable, because we're about to begin. Let's dive into Easter eggs you may have missed. Commander Shepard, you are requested. Blink, and you'll miss it. Around 34 minutes into the first episode, you'll see Miranda Keys and Quan Ha talking in the UNSC flagship. Among all the background chatter in the ship, you'll be able to hear the lines, Commander Shepard, you are requested at the Skillian Response Center. When the line was delivered, fans' ears pricked up, as this was indeed a reference to the game Mass Effect, where Commander Shepard is the name of the hero, and Skillian Verge is the location within its universe in the game. Halo developer 343 Industries, Kiki Wolfkill, is also an executive producer on the TV series, and confirmed to Games Radar that the showrunners did this on purpose, saying the reference was included because the game industry is very collegial environment. Next, Covenant Tech. The first episode sends us straight into action, with a savage battle between the Silver Team and the Covenant's Sheng Healy elites. It's a great way to show the viewers the kind of action they're in for from the get-go. Many eagle-eyed fans of the game franchise will instantly be able to recognize the weapons and the sci-fi equipment used by the Covenant. Up next, Shields Down. It's not so much a hidden Easter egg, but those who've played Halo would have instantly recognized the view from inside Master Chief's helmet. We're shown his HUD, that means heads-up display, which is pretty identical to the game's version, including the radar in the bottom left-hand corner, targeting recticles, and a readout of the equipment and ammunition available. Next, Ref. In this scene where Master Chief was reconciling with his old buddy Soren on the rubble, we get introduced to a man who was driven insane after being enslaved by the Covenant. It is suggested that Reth was subjected to cruel experiments and maybe torture as part of the Covenant's aim to steal and use Forerunner relics. The man, Reth, even specifically mentions the ring. Though he does not directly refer to it as a halo, he obviously recognizes that it is a dangerous genocidal weapon. Most viewers may be unaware that Reth is actually a reference to the book Halo the Cold Protocol. Reth is the name of one of the leaders of the Kig Yar, or Jackals, who traded with the humans of the rubble. He's described as a cunning and deceitful Covenant commander who ultimately creates problems for both groups. Reth might merely be an Easter egg for Halo book lovers, but his name could potentially indicate a deeper and intriguing plot for future episodes. So, what characters feature in the series? Now let's introduce you to the stellar cast featured in this sci-fi intergalactic TV series and where you may know them from, starting with the notorious hidden face of Halo, Master Chief. First, we have Master Chief, played by Pablo Schreiber. Pablo Schreiber portrays the legendary role of Master Chief Petty Officer John 117, or better known as Master Chief, the protagonist in the Halo gaming franchise. You may recognize him as Nick Sabatka in The Wire, or George Pornstash Mendez in Orange is the New Black. Master Chief is a super soldier raised and trained by combat, created by the United Nations Space Command, the UNSC, to be the apex of the Spartan II program, which is created to govern and defend the human race. Next is Catherine Halsey, played by Natasha McElone. Dr. Halsey is another recognizable figure you'll watch come to life, played by Natasha McElone, known for her roles in Solaris, The Truman Show, Californication, and many more. Dr. Halsey is the creator of the Spartan II program and a villain in the franchise, having arranged the kidnapping and experimenting on children in order to develop super troops like Master Chief. Now we have the AI Cortana, played by Jen Taylor. Fans of the Halo video game will be pleased to learn that the AI Cortana is being played by Jen Taylor, the same person who voiced her in the original Halo video games. Jen Taylor has played Cortana in every major Halo game since Combat Evolved, and she is also well known for her voice roles in Left 4 Dead as Zoe, and also played Princess Peach from 1999 to 2006 in the Mario game series. Up next, Soren 066, played by Bokeem Woodbine. Bokeem is an Emmy-nominated actor that you may recognize as Mike Milligan from Fargo or Herman Schultz in Spider-Man Homecoming. Woodbine will be taking the role of Soren 066, who is featured in the game franchise. During the game, you see Soren 066 working behind a desk at the UNSC after becoming deformed during childhood as a result of being tested on by the Spartan 2 program. Though we're not sure how much the show will reveal of his backstory, we however can't wait to see his act talent. Now we have Dr. Miranda Keys, played by Olive Gray. Olive Gray is a British former child actor that UK fans might remember from playing Alice in the story of Tracy Beaker, as well as small appearances in EastEnders and Sex Education. They are also the daughter of Fame Academy judges and singers Dave and Carrie Grant. Miranda Keys is part of the UNSC in the Halo TV series, working together with the Spartans on the Sacred Ring and the child of Captain Jacob Keys and Dr. Halsey. Next is Quan Ah, played by Yirin Ha. Joining Master Chief on this television journey, you will see Yirin Ha as Quan Ah, a new character devised specifically for the series. The character is described as shrewd, audacious 16-year-old from the Outer Colonies who meets Master Chief at a fateful time for both of them. According to Ha herself, she is the daughter of a rebel leader who is filling her father's shoes and stepping up to the leader role in hopes of finally liberating her planet. Up next, Captain Jacob Keys, played by Danny Sapani. Danny Sapani has made a few appearances in blockbuster films such as Black Panther and The Last Jedi, but his role as Captain Jacob Keys will most 
certainly thrust him into the spotlight. You should be able to guess why if you've played Halo Combat Evolved. He was previously in a relationship with Dr. Halsey and share a daughter together, Miranda Keys. This dynamic will make an interesting storyline. Then we have McKee, played by Charlie Murphy. You've probably seen this Irish actress in many things, such as Peaky Blinders, The Lost Kingdom, and Deadline, to name a few. McKee was an orphan brought in and raised by the Covenant and is the only human. According to 343 Industries franchise development director Frank O'Connell, audiences will see why McKee was spared from death by the Covenant within minutes of the character's first scene. So, does the TV series follow the same story as the game? The Halo TV series follows the game's basic setting, premise, and characters. It does, however, make a few substantial adjustments and introduce two new characters to the story. Quan Ha, played by Yiren Ha, the young rebel who crosses paths with Master Chief, or McKee the human who was adopted by the Covenant. Details in the Halo pilot also imply that the premise of the program will be based on game origins. The series is set in the year 2252, which is the penultimate year of the Human Covenant War depicted in the game. It would be interesting to see the series contain other numerous key events seen in the franchise, such as the Battle of Reach seen in the book Fall of Reach. Perhaps the most crucial thing to remember, however, is that this adaptation does not adhere to the canon established in the games. Executive producer Kiki Wolfkill said on Twitter, We're referring to this as the Halo Silver timeline, as a way of differentiating it from the core canon. And by that I mean being able to give ourselves the chance to evolve both, and for both to be what they need to be for their mediums without colliding with each other. But there is, however, one significant difference that everyone has been discussing. Master Chief removing his helmet on the show. The character's face was never shown fully in the games. However, Master Chief did remove his helmet in the Halo 4 epilogue, but the player had to have completed the campaign in Legendary mode. But even then, fans only got a partial glimpse. Will the Halo TV series get a Season 2? Although the series has just been released, fans are dying to know if there's going to be a second season. Well, good news, guys. Paramount has officially said back in February that it is planning to renew Halo for another series. Keep watching until the end because we're uncovering some of the deliberate Easter eggs featured in the show. Did you see any Easter eggs we haven't mentioned? Share with us in the comments. And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed today's video. What did you think about the series so far? Let us know in the comments below. We hope to see you next time, so don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. Bye!